Good morning and welcome to Morning Markets. You'll see we're back in the office today, so let's dig into what's happening in markets over the past 24 hours. Much better performance for equity markets yesterday, building on the, the points that we've made over the past couple of days where we've seen weakness across European UK and, and US markets. Yesterday there was quite a reversal in that. We've also been mentioning the role that company earnings are, are playing in this and sort of the, the idiosyncratic reactions that we see in stock prices as a result of that. And that was very much evident in yes, yesterday. So if we think about the performance of Europe in particular, a lot of stocks that were reporting saw positive share price reactions there. I think the other point to mention in Europe is just one of the things that we have discussed is the slow pace of vaccination rates. You'll see on the chart on the screen at the moment how that vaccination rate has started to, to rise and rise quite significantly. And that's really an important factor if we think about the ongoing economic improvement, economic recovery that we've been seeing in Europe. Yes, very much focused on manufacturing. Seeing that vaccination rate increase, it will support further improvements in the service side of the economy, which as we know, is, is an important area of the economy. Looking into the US yesterday at a sector level, very much noticeable that we saw a bounce back in mid and small caps. So the Russell 2000 was up um, about 2% on the day, um, re recouping some of that three, three and a bit percent loss that it suffered at the beginning of the week. It is interesting just to think about that we are focusing in on those, those daily movements, but it's important to look at that from a, a sector level as to how that's playing out. Looking at, at bond markets, it's quite interesting over the, the past couple of sessions just to think about how the shape of the yield curve has changed. We've seen the curve continuing to flatten, so that's predominantly at the longer end of the, the curve coming in a little bit. And it does seem at least over the past number of days that that talk and discussion of inflation is not as, as evident in, in the market from a market participant's perspective. So we've seen bond yields continue to come in. Also yesterday, not a central bank that we would normally comment on, but I think it's worth discussing this morning, the decisions out of the Bank of Canada, where we saw no change in interest rates, but we did see them rein back their quantitative easing programme, so from 4 billion to 3 billion Canadian dollar purchases on a weekly basis, so a 25% reduction. Um, that's one of the first um, major central banks to start and reduce their, their quantitative easing programme. Market reaction, positive from a currency uh, perspective. Um, so uh, interesting just to observe that, how that plays out over coming days to see how other markets could perform as they potentially consider rolling back some of their, their quantitative easing and support there. Just coming over into the UK, we had a very strong Halifax house price survey yesterday. Again, a lot of that is some travelling and arriving driven by the, the support packages that were put in by the government in terms of stamp duty reductions. So that working its way through with strong house price moves. Just looking at then into Asia overnight, good performance from Asian markets following on from that strength that we saw in the US and Europe yesterday. Futures at this point in time pointing to, to a positive open as well. In terms of focus for today, very much on the ECB meeting. Not about any change in policy expected, but really just about what we hear at the press conference and the communications that they give around future plans, but also how they're assessing the economic recovery, looking back at the, the survey that we discussed earlier in the week in terms of banking in Europe. So a lot to, to look forward to today. Um, thank you for those that have been subscribing on, on YouTube. Please continue to do that. It ensures you get the, the excellent content that True Potential is producing straight into your, your YouTube channel for delivery. Thanks very much. Subscribing to True Potential YouTube channel is quick and easy. Simply go to your YouTube app on your phone, type in True Potential and press the red subscribe option. You'll then be notified as and when new videos are released.